masters in computer science student at uh, UTD, uh, University of Texas at Dallas in uh, USA. So how did you get in? Um, so I, <laughs> I'm sorry, I have a difficult. Um, I applied to the university to the college portal. I, uh, I made a list of all the universities from the uh, US News website according to their ranking. And then I went to the university portal on applications and applied directly. So, do they offer any scholarships? Uh, yeah, so they offer uh, Dean Scholarship and uh, uh, whatever scholarship is there present in the program. And uh, you can apply it through the college uh, website and there. Uh, so how much do we have to pay for uh, for the program? Uh, so uh, per semester, it costs about $17,000 for uh, three subjects, three courses, along with health insurance. I pay a total of $17,000 uh, approximately. What is your major? Um, I am doing a master's in computer science. Why did you choose this college? Um, so UTD uh, is located in the uh, uh, city of Richardson, which uh, has uh, a lot of uh, a huge Indian community in Dallas. And uh, moreover, it has a good uh, program uh, according to its uh, uh, ranking. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, so mostly because of the Indian community and the location, which is uh, favorable to Indian people, it has a not so extreme weather when compared to other parts of USA and become uh, comparatively reasonable. What are your school strengths? So my school has a, a good research program in a major field. Many people do a PhD here. And uh, it has a decent number of professors, a nice uh, all uh, Indian community rituals are there over here. So we have uh, pujas for uh, Ganesh Chaturthi, celebrations for Diwali, and uh, all kind of uh, uh, celebrations over here as a community, which you can participate in. If you could change one thing about this college, what would it be? Um, so after uh, coming here, I learned that this university gave admission to a huge number of people than normal to, uh, uh, to in order to uh, equalize their uh, losses in COVID, I guess. So I think I would uh, not give out admissions, like giving out flyers to everyone. What majors are popular? Um, so there is a program called uh, MSBA, ITM, and uh, Cyber Security over here, and they are they fall on a school which is highly funded and has a lot of mentorship programs, career development programs for the students. Uh, your professor hold office hours and will they meet outside? Yeah, the um, all the professors are reachable either through email or even contact and you can even directly walk into their office and try to ask for an appointment. So they are very reachable and uh, accessible. Are most of your classes taught by professors or teaching assistants? Uh, most of the classes are taught mostly by professors. Teaching assistants come into play only when the professors are unavailable. So classes are more like lecture based or discussion based? Um, it is mostly uh, lecture based, but most of the professors uh, appreciate class participation and interaction. So they do ask questions which uh, they encourage students to answer. The finals are more exam based or project or essay based? Um, the finals are uh, mostly uh, exam based. 
तो हाउ ओपन आर कोलेबरेटिव वर्क और ग्रुप प्रेजेंटेशन रिक्वायर्ड तो आई हैव कंप्लीटेड सिक्स कोर्सेज आउट ऑफ व्हिच आई हैव डन ग्रुप प्रोजेक्ट्स फॉर ऑलमोस्ट फोर टू फाइव ऑफ द कोर्सेज सो वी हैव एट लीस्ट वन प्रोजेक्ट पर सेमेस्टर फॉर ग्रुप कोलैबोरेशन so is there anything you learned about this school only after you started classes that you to wish you would have known before committing so there are a lot of uh, indian students so it is not uh, exactly like uh, you know you don't get the full us experience after coming here and uh, you need to, i didn't know about rate my professors where you can uh, find out how the professors are rated by their uh, previous students and uh, how good they are and uh, moreover we have a website called utdgrades.com where all the grades of the course is uh, available uh, from previous 5 uh, years what was your first year experience like in masters um so my first year was uh, pretty decent i mean uh, there are mostly indian people here so it is not all that different from uh, india i guess and uh, yeah it was uh, some things were new but still some things were the same so it is pretty decent favorite place favorite place to study at campus so there are uh, student services buildings and libraries within the campus and even the uh, other uh, buildings other department buildings have uh, places for students to collaborate and study they have tables and uh, study tables and chairs everywhere in the campus so you can choose whichever you feel, uh, building you want to sit and study in what is the social scene like how would you describe your fellow students um i guess it is mostly competitive and uh, survival of the fittest over here because uh, each student has to fend for themselves uh, they, they do have a uh, a uh, good friend group you can, you can get a good friend group if you want but you uh, can't expect a uh, uh, friend for life uh, here because this is the age where you have to compete with your peers so it's mostly each to their own but you still can depend on people and uh, even if you don't have anyone you can uh, go there are mentorship programs where uh, you can be assigned an i friend where uh, you can go talk to them and they have church groups home groups where you can go and socialize with people so you have a lot of options so what do students enjoy the most about this college um i guess it would be the indian community i guess they have a lot of uh, holy bashes diwali celebration ganesh chaturthi celebrations and uh, many helpful events happening all around the campus mostly and you can go and participate in fairs and job fairs and stuff so what are some of the most popular clubs and student organizations um there's a club called uh, utd isa which is the indian student association and they have a lot of uh, social media positions a uh, music dance and uh, event organization committees which you can participate and help them with you can even volunteer to help them out and uh, you have a uh, lot of music clubs psychology clubs uh, gender clubs and the study clubs too which you can participate in and many church clubs obviously <laughs> what kind of things are there to do in your school's hometown um so this is a bit of a suburban area so you can't expect parking and clubs over here everywhere and the commute is not very friendly so you need to have a, a reliable mode of transport because the public transport is not uh, that often here it is uh, not well connected and uh, uh, suburban area this area has a, only a lot of uh, restaurants and stuff so there are no socializing areas outside of campus here where do students tend to hang out on or off of campus um again there are only restaurants and uh, few movie theaters aside so 
there's not a really place to hang out rather just to go and uh, have an entertainment are there movie theaters and concert venues what are good cafes for getting work done or finding the perfect pumpkin spice latte i don't understand can you repeat the question are there movie theaters and concert venues what about good yeah. cafes for getting work done yeah there are a lot of uh, indian restaurants and uh, mexican and uh, uh, italian and uh, uh, nearby so and then there are two or three uh, uh, four or five theaters around 5 uh, uh, miles within the radius and uh, there are uh, obviously all the major franchises of walmart target taco bell chipotle and everything uh, around here subway so how would to describe the presence of greek life how would you describe the presence of greek life like do a students lot of do a lot of students belong to fraternity oh, yeah. sororities the fra- there are a lot of fraternities and sororities but mostly only uh, undergrad students are able to participate in that i haven't really explored on that side but i know that there are a lot of uh, greek sororities in the college favorite place to eat i would say um, pradeshi indian cuisine it is a uh, uh telangana or andhra pradesh based restaurant i guess mostly telugu people run it and they have amazing biryanis and south indian delicacies is it easy to get around campus or get off campus without a car um uh, yeah so the campus runs a shuttle bus service around the campus for uh, two sides west side and east side and they run within half an hour uh, frequencies so it is pretty accessible without car <laughs> what transportation options are around campus uh yeah again uh, the public bus service is there so that's what i mentioned the shuttle service so is it a safe area to work around at night like what um, kind of I guess a few areas are uh, pretty safe. There is one area called the Mekalam, which is kind of unsafe, but not uh, totally. Uh, taking caution is always uh, uh, appreciated, but I wouldn't call it all, all that unsafe. What are dorms like? Are there lounges, laundry, and kitchens, shared or private restrooms? so i live outside of campus i have taken an apartment so i wouldn't know much about dorm life what are some of the most popular extra curricular curriculars and why well i would say mostly it's uh, dancing and uh, music so there are a lot of events happening around which you can perform in and uh, participate in so if you know dancing or music there there is a lot of uh, venues for you to uh, perform in what are some of the most popular traditional events at police yeah so as i already told we have celebrations for ganesh chaturthi deepavali uh, makar sankranti and pongal and uh, christmas and everything uh, so they have uh, events uh which you can participate in and go have entertainment and they have dj nights which you can have fun at within the college campus what kind of internships are available do a lot of students get internships so over here there is no concept of placements so basically you have to get on the linkedin grid and go talk to people and go approach uh, people working in industries and apply on your own and try to get internships a referral is always uh, the best way to get an internship as uh, referral is more uh, given importance here rather than just an application so you have to network with a lot of people get their contacts and ask for referrals in order to uh, support your boost your application so what is the semester length like how many months in a year 
you have some plan like how much so there are three semesters in a year which is spring summer and fall the fall semester starts from mid august to december uh, mid december december 20s and the uh, spring semester starts from mid jan to uh, the starting of may and the summer semester starts from uh, mid may to uh, july uh, mid july and after the if you are not choosing summer semester you will get a 3 month holiday from mid may to mid august which you can do your internship in during is career services helpful um yeah uh, uh, they are very accessible and try to help you with the formatting of your resume but as they do not know the field of uh, knowledge in your particular field they might not be very helpful in the nuances of your resume in what all skills is supposed to fit in <laughs> yeah everyone is assigned a advisor in your college so you can go ask them for academic help on how to go, go about which subjects to choose in which semester and how to help boost your profile <coughs> are there opportunities to build leadership skills on campus um could you repeat the question are there opportunities to build leadership skills on campus uh yeah they have a lot of clubs which can participate in and they have, uh, conduct a lot of webinars and sessions where in uh, they bring in people from with industry experience to come and explain uh, all the aspects of getting a job doing uh, going further in life what is your contribution to the school um well i i don't think uh, there's some uh, something like that according to me in my perspective <clears throat> what inspires you in school um there are a lot of uh, hard working students here who don't have much of a social life i guess because i have studied in srm during my ug and i have seen people uh who have the feel to go and have fun rather than doing the stuff which is important to develop in your life but i see a lot of people who are career driven and who know what is actually important and work hard accordingly that instead of getting uh, peer pressured into having fun if they don't want to they don't wa- uh, have to have fun so they just work on whatever they think is important so then do you enjoy the most and why uh, could you repeat <clears throat> what what subject did you enjoy the most um i guess i would have to say design analysis of algorithms because the professor was very uh, kind and uh, he was very uh, uh he, he it was it felt like he also learned the subject along with us the way he explained the course so i and it was a very uh, the way he explained was also interesting so i guess that subject was uh, good for me what a- subject to enjoy the least um uh, i don't think that that would be in a general case because according to my perspective i wanted a more of a, a concept based learning instead of all mathematics and statistics so i made a mistake of choosing the wrong professor uh, which uh, resulted in me not enjoying that course as much if i ask your friends to describe you what would they say um i guess they would call me an extrovert uh, who would like to help people and uh, is a very jovial and kind and fun i guess hopefully <clears throat> what is your definition to a good teacher um i believe a good teacher is a one who gets down to the level of students tries to understand them uh, one on one you know it's not possible but uh, i would call that an ideal professor 
come they would come down to our level try to learn the subject with us try to understand what the students are thinking in their mind and how to go about uh, teaching them better as well as maintaining a straight uh, a healthy distance between the professor and students in order to uh, be uh, strict and make them reach the goal while being friendly what is the average package like for past students in competition well again that depends on each uh, on their own because uh, in computer science and e- even in each different fields the packages are different and if you uh, if you work at a startup the package will be different when this is when you work at a big farm company uh, so there is no concept of placements in america so it you have to apply to your companies on your own and get a job so there is no one fixed spectrum there is a, a whole a uh, huge spectrum on which students get different kinds of jobs with different kind of salaries thank you shweta for the time it was very nice of you no problem thank you so much uh, all the best for your uh, helping the students i appreciate it thank you